Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Bob Goff. Ashley and Brittany will be by in a little while. My guest today is Dr. George Cricard with Quincy Medical Group. We're going to talk about knee surgeries and hip surgeries and all kinds of other fun stuff and some yeah. of the new and improved techniques. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. So you have recently, within the last two years, there's been a, a, a major development in the field. Why don't you just kind of tell me about it a little bit? Yeah, so I think, you know, when, when total joints first came out in the 1960s, uh, a lot of concern and issues were dealing with what materials made up the hip or knee replacement. Hip and knee being the most common uh, joint replacements that are done nationwide. Uh, we're getting anywhere between 500,000 and a million uh, per year of each. Uh, we can replace shoulders, elbows, and other joints as well, but the two main ones are hip and knee, and that's my area of expertise is hip and knee replacements. So when I speak of hip and knee replacements, uh, there are some um, uh, consistencies across the other joints. There are some that are specific to hips and knees. So when joint replacement first came out in the 1960s, we were mostly concerned about the metals and the plastics that the the components were made out of. Mm -hmm. How are they going to hold up in the human body? How long are they going to hold up? If they wear out, how do we re-replace them? Uh, so it's like a car tire. Can you get one car tire change per life of the car? Or can you do a second car tire change? Can you do a third car tire change if you keep that car for 150,000 miles? So um, a lot of our focus early on was better metals and plastics. And I think we've realized over the last 10 years, we're pretty good at that. And, and unless there's some humongous breakthrough coming down the line that we're not aware of, we've probably maxed out for the next five or 10 years metals and plastics. So then you look at what's the next frontier that could help us in, in, our, in our quest to put in a better joint or have patients uh, appreciate their total joint or joint replacement better. And one of the things we realize is technology, that obviously with technology being the way it is today compared to even 10 years ago, how can we incorporate technology into our hips? How can we incorporate uh, technology into our knees to affect a better patient outcome? And one of the things that the uh, company that, that I currently use is uh, Zimmer, and, and one of the things that they have done is uh, put in what's called a smart knee or the Persona IQ uh, uh, knee, which actually gives us as physicians feedback or information about the knee replacement. So when you talk about the analytics and you talk about uh, having these measurables, how, how does that impact and make it better than just somebody saying, oh, I feel better? Right. I, I think uh, pa some patients are, are looking for objective data that says, how do I know I'm getting better? What can I shoot for? What can I do to make myself better? And if I'm making myself better, how do I know I'm better? And um, you may think that, oh, gee whiz, if I have my knee or hip replaced, I'll know when I'm better. And that can be true. But also it's the patient going through physical therapy that says, I think I'm getting better, I just don't know. And so this actually gives us data on how well the patient's doing, hard numbers that we can compare across national averages, how you are doing, Bob Goff, after your surgery versus everyone else. And so we see two kind of groups of patients that really benefit from this technology. Number one is the patient that comes in that thinks they're not doing very well and says, wow, I'm really struggling, I'm not doing well. We can pull their data up and show them how they chart on five, six, seven different parameters and how the knee is working versus the national average. So no, Bob, you're actually doing better than you think. We also can look at the patient that's fallen off and said, why is this person doing well for a week or two and then completely dropped off the face of the earth? Um, we've had two uh, great uh, um, examples of how this has benefited patients recently. One uh, patient, unfortunately, had a family member that passed, and uh, they quit doing physical therapy and quit kind of uh, being in touch with um, a normal life, which happens. Uh, so we were able to call them and say, "Can you? how are you doing? And we found out someone had passed. We talked them through that. We got them help uh, from that standpoint, but also got them back on track to get their knee better. 
Uh, and then the second person was actually in the hospital for another issue. Uh, and we were able to make sure that while they were in the hospital, they still were able to focus on getting their knee back. So the patients that do well, that don't think they're doing well, are helped by this technology. But then the other group is the ones that aren't doing well, that we can intervene quicker than if I see you in a month and go, man, you've been struggling for a month. Why didn't I know? Now I can know. And now we can intervene and get these patients back. Uh, you had said that you've done uh, more than 50 of these <clears throat> using this technology. What is, from, from your perspective actually of actually doing the surgery, how is it an improvement on your end? So again, I think it, it helps us monitor our patients basically on a daily basis to see, and we have a team of people that interact with this data locally, uh, and we can actually see how are our patients doing on a daily basis. And, and it used to be that I would see it, say, two weeks postoperatively and six weeks. So between two and six weeks, you might not be doing great, and I'm in my office going, well, I think he's doing well. Now we actually have data that proves that, yeah, Bob is doing well. He's doing what he needs to do. His knee is progressing the way we expect it to progress. Or no, Bob's struggling and we need to intervene and give him a call and go, hey, are you having trouble getting to your appointments? Is it pain that's an issue? Because we can help you with that. What is the issue that's causing you not to be able to thrive after surgery? So that, I think, the the day-to-day -day monitoring of our patients is a huge difference from what we used to do. You're not that old of a fella. Neither am I. Good point. Good point. Um, when did you do your <clears throat> first re knee replacement? So um, I graduated uh, uh, Quincy High here in 1984, uh, and then I did medical school, which is four years, residency, which is five, and then I did a year of extra training fellowship, which is kind of like the old-fashioned apprenticeship back in the day uh, where you learn how to hone your craft. Uh, and it was uh, 1990. Two, when I was in medical school, I probably saw my first uh, total joint. Um, and then 92 to 97 was in my residency where I learned kind of the craft. And when I came back to town here in 1998 is when I first did my first total joint in town. And, you know, it's not just like they focus on Dr. Cricard has done 50 uh, persona IQ knees or smart knees. And true, I have, but it's a whole team that right. does it, right? And so it's very similar to, I think, a NASCAR um, driver. The driver gets all the credit, yeah. but it's everyone else that really does the heavy lifting and does a lot of the work. So it's it's not only my office staff, but it's the physical therapy and occupational therapist after surgery. It's the interoperative team of nurses and techs that help me put that in. And what I always say is, just like Jimmy Johnson doesn't show up at the track and say, hey, you up there, we're in the green shirt, why don't you be my right rear tire guy? And yeah. Hey, you gal sitting there with the white cap on, why don't you? He, they have a team that know what they're doing, sure. and, and they can make a fast, efficient pit stop. And that's what we're looking for in surgery is a fast, efficient crew that gets the patient in and out doing well. So although it's George Cricard has done 50 of these or more than 50 at this point, it's really the whole team that deserves the credit. And another NASCAR analogy, though, you know, <coughs> back in uh, 1989, the cars they drove were a little different than the cars they drive now. Like the parts that you brought in are a little Correct. different than what they used back then. So Correct. I would assume that that's... This is the high end version. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The, <laughs> this is the high end. That's not your basic, here. just no. ball and joint right. rubbing together. Right. Um, and again, that's, you know, and, and we all have access to that. So I'm not special in, in what I do and how I do things. Um, obviously, being in a smaller community, I, I think it's harder to. Um, hide our faults and um, I think it's a little bit harder to actually practice in a smaller community um, but this is home for me and I love I love treating uh, my people right my sure. Quincy people and my tri-state people so again going back with the uh, age analogy you and I grew up watching <laughs> the six million dollar man when am I getting to get that's the true. bionic knee that's going to allow me to jump right across and, the street and, and I always tell traffic right I always tell my patients you are now the bionic man especially if you've had two or three joints but I said <laughs> you're not going to be able to see through buildings you're not going to be able to jump over them either um one, one of the I mean the, this the components I have here are the typical uh thigh bone or femur component, which is the top part, and then we have the bottom part, the tibia or shin bone component. These components themselves are anywhere between four and $6,000. So it's, we're not talking inexpensive pieces of plastic or inexpensive pieces of metal. That having been said, when I put those in, it's not what God or nature intended you have in your knee. 
It's metal and plastic, and it ain't the same. Yeah. And, and some people forever will feel that it's just not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not bone and cartilage anymore. It's metal and plastic. It's as good as we can do, and you're going to be better than you were before surgery, but you ain't going to feel like you're 20 anymore. No. And that's one of the biggest things that I think we have to in, instill in our patients is this is amazing what we can do with the human body. The, the human body can do amazing things, but we can't beat what God or nature has already done with you, which is bone and cartilage. You're not going to make him Steve Austin, but you're going to make We're him We're not going to make him Steve Austin, that is for sure. <laughs> Dr. Ricard, thanks for stopping by. And again, thanks for all the hard work you're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Brittany and Ashley are, as I said, out and about, and we will join them on the road right after this. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know The Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, The Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup. The best menu in town. Kelly's 2902 Broadway, Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Mr. Matt Hochgraber and Brittany Bull. And we are at Celebrations at 1028 Jersey, uh, sitting in front of this beautiful table setting. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, My wife signed it up. Well, Abby, <laughs> so uh, Abby is fantastic with her design elements, of course. Uh, but we're here today. So what were you doing today, Matt? Uh, we had to leave this early, early this morning and set a tent up at Mount Sterling. A giant tent. For a uh, career expo. Is outside? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. How hot was that? Uh, it was 100 degrees, I think, <laughs> with a heat index. It's not actually funny, but... Mm -hmm. That shows some dedication, yeah. right? Yeah. And it, that it just goes to show you. So, of course, celebrations, uh, event and party rentals. It, event and party or party and event? Uh, party and event. Party and event. So, uh, and of course, events always include the venue. And a lot of times the venue is an outdoor tent, which mm -hmm. people may or may not know that celebrations, uh, you not only do uh, the tent set up and tear down, but you use, is it CAD? Yep. Like you use a CAD yep. program to set up the actual design of the tent according to how the host wants it. Yep. Right? Yep. Round or rectangle tables, how they want it placed. I mean, if you can do mix and match, round and rectangle, kind of shows you kind of a layout of how the tent would look, what spacing would look like with people sitting at the chair. Um, it shows you kind of everything. Lets you get uh, your whole idea in not you because know, you always have something. I always have something in my mind, but when I go to set it up, it's like, oh, this doesn't work. So yeah. this way. You know, you're not moving things around day of. You have an idea, and you're like, okay, this is this is how I want it. Perfect. So, um, and you set that. You do all that. You yep. do the CAD design, set up, tear down, delivery, uh, pick up, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. And of course, tents right now are popular because, well, maybe not today because it's so blazing ass hot. But but I think you'd want that to 
block from the sun? Yeah, it, it, our tents actually block the sun out and uh, it makes it quite a bit cooler under, awesome. or down the ground. So it will help the people out that are using the tent today. Um, so yeah, it, it makes it quite a bit cooler underneath there. Yeah, so, uh, and I think outdoor, especially with big tents, uh, became a thing, you know, not, it wasn't too long ago that tents became like a huge thing for receptions and outdoor parties mm -hmm. and stuff. It really adds an element of elegance. Uh, elegance. It really does. Uh, but of course we know that the weather is, you know, the seasons are changing and you do offer something for every season. But as we move into cooler seasons, mm -hmm. we start talking about holiday parties, yep. right? Yes. So what have you guys done in the past as far as holiday parties or uh, parties that are, you know, inside when it gets cooler? Uh, we help a lot with dishes, uh, silverware. We try to make it to where it's unique for the the um, company picnic or the holiday party that's happening. Um, we like to incorporate their colors, maybe some holiday colors, stuff like that. Um, any, anything we can do that can, that can put a personal touch on the, the event that they're doing to make it a, a Christmas party or a holiday party. Yeah. So. Awesome. Do you do a lot of Thanksgiving before the holidays? We do. We yeah. do. Yep. And even down to, um, we do have a couple ladies come back every year and rent, you know, five chairs and one table. Oh, yeah. And so that they uh, they come back just for that overflow in their, their living room that, that, you know, it's cheaper to rent than it is to buy another dining yeah. room set. And so. we did that. Hauling that to yeah. Yeah. or like storing that. Yeah. 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 Convenient. What are uh, the fall colors, though? I mean, these are uh, She has set beautiful. up here with gold uh, napkins for the fall. Um, brown is coming in. Um, but... I mean, it just depends on what your party is. Yeah. I mean, we could, we have burgundy and stuff like that. So there's always a theme. Everybody always, again, you know, outside of the setup, uh, including the the tent, the tableware, the chairs, the uh, tables, the you know, down to the silverware, the serving, right? The serving utensils or the eater, the what do you call it? U utensils. Utensil. Yeah. yeah. So uh, every aspect you guys help with from basically start to finish, and you can cater to uh, really any theme. Mm -hmm. Um, any kind of wish list and I was looking on your website so this is kind of how I came up with like the what is your website so it's celebrations, celebrations party or party Quincy biz yeah uh, great website by the mm -hmm. way didn't Abby yeah, Abby. yeah <laughs> I was gonna say shout out to Abby again uh, but it it's what gave me the information on um, what you rent uh, the the tent setup the tent tear down delivery uh, pickup but there were things that I didn't realize, so you can really just go on there and see, you know, what mm -hmm. tables, what chairs, how much things cost. A lot of places don't have yep. pricing available. A catalog yep. like right? that. So I thought that was uh, very helpful because, as we were talking about last time, some people, they have an idea, but they almost get hesitant to ask about it because they don't want to overshoot their budget, and some people get a little self-conscious about talking yep. about that stuff. So I think mm -hmm. it's really nice to be able to go on there get an idea of what you want, but then have you guys fine tune it. Yep. And you do that. Yes, yes, especially with our tents. Um, our tent pricing is not on our website, just for one reason is because of uh, each tent we, we build for the, the amount of people that's gonna be under it. Yeah. So we wanna size it accordingly and not overshoot and just do, say it's a 40 by 40 with 20 people on it. So we, can, we have a smaller tents that would be better for you. Gotcha, and for the so, space. Yes. Because you want to take yeah. that in consideration too. Yes. Because you're, you're going to have the tent, but you're also going to have people kind of mingling outside of it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have tents or tables set up outside of it. So people who don't want to be in the tent, uh, you know, they have freedom to be outside. Yes. So yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, always cool stuff. And then there are things that people may not consider when having an outdoor event. Uh, I know one of the things we talked about recently, uh, and I don't remember if we talked about it on here, but there are certain like regulations and standards when people mm -hmm. have tents, like you got to call Julie, yep. right? Yep. For the, like the electrical uh, kind of OSHA before stuff. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Call yep. whatever, whatever before you Say dig. one one yeah. Yeah. And, but you knew, so I asked you earlier, well, do you guys take care of contacting Julie or how does that work? So how does that work? Yep. So in Illinois, we take care of it since we're doing, we're the contractor in Missouri, uh, the homeowner has to take care of it, but all of our tents do require that we do a Julie request. Um, and I won't set the tent unless we have a request done yeah. um, beforehand, just because I don't want to hit the utilities. Uh, I don't want an accident to happen. Sure. And for the homeowner, you know, we don't have to have a bad conversation. Or anything, right. So right. And those are things that you may not consider, which is another reason reason uh, you and your crew at Celebrations uh, really help when planning any event because there are things that you just don't think about and that could be down to uh, linens 
right? Well, I know I want a pretty tablecloth, but maybe I didn't think about contrasting mm -hmm. uh, the, you the know, the actual napkins, the, the linens, yeah, with your flowers. And uh, so you can come in, and if you haven't visited Celebrations here at 1028 Jersey, I definitely recommend it because you can come in and see almost every color under the sun that you could ever want for any season, any party. Uh, you guys can, can cater to their needs as far as design, theme, the ambiance of things, as you mentioned, tables, chairs, how it's set up using CAD. Uh, it's just something that I wish I knew existed back in my party planning days, especially, you know, when I was planning my wedding and even some theme parties that I had. So a lot of people, when they think of celebrations, may think of just weddings, um, weddings but right? So much more. So much more. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking, uh, of course, holiday parties, Thanksgiving dinners, um, birthday parties. Right. Yeah. Thank you again yep. for being our sponsor for the birthday of the month. Yes. It's going to be coming up here in a second. We're yeah. Draw the name. Yeah. So people that may not know, you know, how many people like sign up for the celebrations birthday of the month. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of engagement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, because they're, you guys give away. Yeah. Usually a pretty good gift card to two different places. Yeah, which is awesome. And what better way to celebrate your birthday, right, than, than with celebrations with some, yeah. and, and with uh, some Free giveaways. local food. Yeah. So uh, who won last time? Can we say that again? Do um, we remember? Ectrum Camp. It was... Uh, Ectrum Camp? Yeah. Yeah, it was Ectrum Camp. Well, well, you'll have to watch the last episode, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. So this one, do we have the entries ready or do we yes. need to? Okay. I can go grab them really All right. Quick. So pause on that. So while she's going to get them, um, what goes into, I know we kind of touched on it last time, but what goes into party planning or event planning if they were to call you today? Which, let's start with your phone number. 217-224-4763. 217-224-4763. Um, celebration. So... When you, if I were to call today, I'd be like, I have a party um, coming up that, you know, I think there's going to be about 45 people. Mm -hmm. What other questions should I have the answer to before I call? Well, are you wanting dinnerware? Are you wanting tablecloths? Do you need the tables? Do you need the chairs? Um, what are we shooting for? What, I mean, what's the party? What do you need me to cater to? Yeah. So, okay. Um, really, I don't have to know anything, right? Though you will guide me through yeah. the whole like process. You can just walk, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is nice. Because a lot of people, you, oh, I, I okayed, I volunteered to throw this party. Shit, now what? Oh, I know. Right? That's yeah. the worst. But I think, uh, of course, you guys know what you're doing, yeah. uh, and you will help every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard to find, I think, any more a company who will, um, you know, not only help you through the planning process, but also deliver, mm -hmm. set up, yep. tear down, ensure that it's safe before you leave, oh, right? Yeah. And then yep. come back, sure. pick it up, and... It takes take away it, the take stress. It, it does. It calms you mm -hmm. down. And if you come in here, it is cool. It's yeah. always cool. Right? So when it's um, 100 degrees out, this is the place to chill. I yeah, temperature-wise and aesthetic. I, I think even when you walk in, they're always changing um, the themes to match the season and what they can help with. So if you need some ideas, walk through the door. You'll, mm -hmm. be, you'll be blessed with some... You know, of course, the the up and coming colors, the different tables and and setups that you can do, and I think it's just it kind of helps you visualize things, and then they'll take it to the CAD and help you set up the whole the whole kit caboodle, right? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, if you're ever in, uh, if you if you ever need party planning help or um, any of the rentals, the tables, the chairs, the the silverware, the uh, place settings, the glasses. So now we're drinking out of these glasses. Do you rent these? Mm -hmm. See, they do it all. I love it. What about um, the candle holders and stuff? Do you guys do that? Uh, we have some of them. I don't really get into many centerpieces though. Okay, yeah. but you can outsource yep. things. Yep, we do have a couple people that we do outsource all the time too, just because they're more into the centerpieces and kind of the different ideas of that kind of thing. Cool, all right. So. Uh, okay, so I guess without further ado, Matt, let's- grab a name from this uh, ice bucket that you can also rent. <laughs> <laughs> Which Good everybody job. needs that today. Good luck reading my handwriting. Deb Lawson, August 2nd. Nice. Yes. Deb so, Lawson. Yes. Congratulations, Deb. Uh, and make sure you... Reach out to Matt. Right. Reach yep. out to Matt. Stop in here. Get your prize. So what is the prize this month? Uh, the Abbey gift card and the it is a Sweet Treats gift card also. So the yeah. Abbey for dinner yeah. and Sweet Treats for dessert. Yep. Can't go wrong. And then come in and check out what they've done here because yep. it's not only a beautiful store, but uh, yeah, if you ever have any party or event needs, they can, they can do it all. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. One Thank more time. You, 
Uh, phone number 217-224-4763. 4763, 1028 Jersey here in Quincy. Come see Matt, come see Abby, come see the whole crew at Celebrations. They really are to here, here to help you uh, every step of the way with every party, every event. Uh, they got it all. So yeah, on that note, I think we cheers. say cheers, right? Yep, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you, Matt. Cheers to you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think that does it for today. Uh, if you are Deb Lawson, call, step in, stop in. Uh, he's got a nice gift for you. Okay?